Hey everyone, and <laughs> don't know if I went live there. YouTube's always a little weird for starting the stream. Hey everyone, welcome back. So that might have been a really weird intro right there. YouTube's always really weird when you're starting the streams. There's like this weird delay thing happening and you don't actually know when it's actually putting you live. But I hope everyone is doing well out there because uh, I'm looking forward to playing a few games tonight. Uh, to be honest though, for, for once in a long, long time, I didn't actually know exactly what I wanted to play tonight. Um, normally, I sort of know what game I want to play almost like a week ahead of time. And this week, it's it's been a little dead on the new game front for a couple of weeks now. Not like completely dead, but somewhat dead. Yes, uh, Martin, this is just the demo for today. Um, which is why I like, I was looking for something and... Part of me was like, let's play Super Mario World. Like, I don't know what to play. I've been wanting to play Super Mario World again. Uh, and I'm like, why not play it on stream? You know, like the old one from the SNES. But then I started looking at demos and there were a couple of demos that were interesting. But I didn't want to pack like two, three demos into the same like stream. So I'm like, why not try Umber Claw? Umber, uh, Umber Claw is like a... It looks like a 2D action platformer, but you're playing as a cat. So right there and then, you know, playing as a cat, I've got to play it. Topaz is laying on me actually right now. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do the demo. It's most likely not going to take like a super long time. So why not just pack in after that? Uh, an island tour of my Animal Crossing island because I know a few of the people asked for that last week and I think uh, oh yeah it's because my brother showed up and I had to like end the stream like a little abruptly um, so I'm like why not do that tonight and then on top of it um, after that if we still have some time for tonight and uh, it's looking good um I'm thinking I want to start like a, playing a, a retro game like Super Mario World or something like that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, over the next few weeks, there are things coming out. It was just like a tiny slump. And I know I wanted, part of me also wanted to play S Slave Zero X, but I pre-ordered the physical edition that's coming out this week. So the, the digital came out like the week that just passed, but the physical is coming out next week. And although the game looks fun, it doesn't really look like a game I want to double dip on. So um, rather than like buy the digital version, get the physical next week, I'm like, nah, let's let's just wait it out and we'll play it next week. So yeah, we're going to try the Umber Claw demo because I actually saw this. I don't remember when I saw the demo, uh, when, when I saw the trailer, I meant. But I did see it and I was super interested in the game. Uh... Uh, it's made by Inti Creates, by the way. The same people who did, like, uh, Gunvolt. And, um, like, they do a lot of 2D action platformers. They're they're actually the team behind um, Mega Man Zero. Uh, the, the Mega Man Zero series back in the day. So, it they, they know what they're doing in 2D action platforming. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do with this cat game. There seems to be maybe even some kind of transformation because as you saw on the thumbnail, like uh, there seems to be like a humanoid version of the cat. Is it the bad guy? Is it our character that can transform? We'll figure it out. Hopefully in the demo. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan for tonight. We're going to sort of have a more like smorgasbord type stream and um, you know, yeah, at first this game was confusing. Well, let's go check it out. So let's, I've been talking enough. Let's jump into the game. Let's get things started and we'll have more than enough time to talk, to talk tonight. So by the way, like I said, uh, if anyone has played the demo already, um, feel free to voice your One opinions about it as we go on. One life has come life to an end. Is a it can voice be acting. out in an instant through any number of means. This life belonged to a simple cat that lived with her owner. 
Her owner may have been devastated. They may have given her a formal burial. They may have scattered her ashes. Sounds like a slight Australian accent. Aware of her death, just disappearing one day, never to come back. Maybe slight British? It's, it's hard to tell because it's slight. One life has come to an end. So the kitty cat is dead. I, I did have a good week. I had a good week. A very busy week, which is why there hasn't been an eShop deals. I'm actually, since things are a little quieter on the Nintendo front right now, I've actually been reorganizing the studio. So two of the nights that normally I would have pre been producing. Has ended up in the soul plane following her death. Within the soul plane is the boundary which allows those who cross it to return to the real world. Left with no I'm going to show it fully, to Tony. This this is my favorite TM and T-shirt now. I just got it today. And well, actually, before we get started, I'll, I'll show it off. There's something wrong with the shirt, though. And I'll give bonus awesome points to whoever can point out what theoretically would be wrong with this. Yeah, I took a new role at work, uh, which I'm a little more tired, but um, also, like, basically, for at least six hours this week, so like two, three hour blocks, I started cl cleaning out and reorganizing the studio majorly, like major reorganization, so that once uh, it's done, I can be a lot more efficient. Because right now, I was having a lot of trouble switching between. Um, like normal camera view like this and going to my part where I have my top down view and things were just getting a little hectic in the studio because I've been accumulating accumulating stuff over like the last three years and I'm right I was running out of space so I started like uh, storing stuff basically so I'm moving stuff to storage um but yeah uh Actually, there's there's something bigger than that. I'll show the full shirt, and like I said, it'll be bonus brownie points to whoever can point out what sort of doesn't make sense with this shirt. I'm giving you guys a few seconds. Actually, hold on. This will be way better. So hopefully that was long enough. I, I gave you guys like a good like two, three minute look at my chest there. <laughs> I'm not sure the people who don't normally know the channel. You could say no April would be one, but I'm thinking the opposite. Who's there that should theoretically not be on this shirt because of the cast that's on it? If you get Casey, that's it. And it's too bad because you guys all know Casey Jones is one of my favorite characters from like the Turtles series, other than the Turtles themselves. Um, but he wasn't really in the second movie. And like because of the cast of, of villains here, which are Toka and, Ra and Reza and um, Shredder, like this theoretically sounds like a. TMN, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 uh, Secret of the Ooze t-shirt, but they put Casey Jones in there. Uh, mind you, I'm not complaining because I'm glad my man Casey Jones is there, but he wasn't really in the second movie. And you guys know that he wasn't in the second movie for a totally ridiculous and bogus reason, right? 
Like, the only reason Casey Jones was not in the second movie is because back in the day in the 90s, uh, the Turtles were seen as a, a kid's franchise, and they thought that the a, a human in a hockey mask beating people up was too violent of a concept to have in the Turtles movie. So after the first movie, there was so much parental group backlash that they took Casey Jones out of the storyline for the second one. Which I find totally awful. Okay, now lay down, Topaz. We're getting started on the game now. <laughs> that was like the side uh, side story for 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 the turtle shirt, but I still love it. Um, was not having Casey and TMNT. Yeah, they, they put the pizza guy. But like I said, that's that's why they did it because they found it was too. Um, the helmet on the side the, doesn't have the razor thing. You're right, because in the second one, he because he got killed there, he redid his helmet with the razor things. But you're right. Yeah, well, that's the second thing. That's the other reason they didn't want the turtles using their weapons, which was like, like <laughs> the whole point of being like uh, of it. Anyway, okay, let's get to the game now because the people that are like not you. It, Obviously, I cater more to the, the regulars, but let's just say someone's here and he's not a regular. They're going to be like, why is this guy talking about a TMNT t-shirt for like 10 minutes? Okay. Uh, though she may be a resident of the Soul Play Noun, Kuan is still a regular cat. She has very little means of combating fiends and perils they bring. She can, however, use her natural maneuverability and small frame to avoid danger. This includes jumping a wall, climb walls, phasing through enemies with the L, okay. And her attacks with her shadow pass ability. Okie doke. So we can jump, we can uh, crawl, we can L, and that's a. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. I hope I hope we get a really good uh, last Ronin movie. Hey, Mr. Smiley. By the way, hey to everyone. I know I've been interacting with you guys, but MKF, Tony, Martin, Corey, Mr. Smiley. Welcome, guys. Okie doke. So for the moment, at least no double jump, but you can you can hold the jump button for a longer jump. I do not like the dash on the L button, though. Can I reor? Can I do this? I just want to see what's our... Uh, it's going to be special skills. ZL is going to be defensive skills, long range skills. Okay, we're going to try it the way they set it up first. I just don't like the dash being... I, I'd rather have the dash on R for the moment. But I'm worried that we're going to need the special skills more. Can we stick to the roof? Ah, there we go. Okay, it, it feels a little weird as a mechanic, the way the way you're moving through the tunnels, but I guess so. Let's just see what's down here first. Nada. Okay, we can't jump up the pink walls. I hope this isn't like a level based, like just like, uh, you know, like action puzzle platformer. I hope it's like, 
Because it, it actually looked like the Mega Man concept thrown with a cat friend. Activate Shadow Pass with L to face your enemies and their attacks. Repeated use will allow Khan to avoid damage for a great time and distance. Be wary of the stamina gauge, however. No cat wants to be left wide open during a life or death situation. Be sure to not deplete it. So we do have a stamina gauge at the top. Okay. Cat doesn't seem to be able to. So we can we can chain the dashes. Ouch. Oh, so it's like a one hit kill type thing. Duong has perished once again. She remains not but a regular cat, even within the soul plane. However, the age-old saying goes a cat has nine lives okay we have nine lives lost kuan is resurrected with both a new soul and a new skill this is known as anima revive the power to find hope in death okay so every time we die we become more powerful the more power Kuan gains, the further she strays from her feline nature. A time will come where a decision must be made. To remain as is, no matter the cost. Or to give in to the call of dominating power. Should you this is getting the interesting. Form, hope comes in the form of points. And when the time comes, the cancel button will be your ticket to maintaining yourself. That is until you become unable to do so. Okay, hold on. Kwan's determination to return to the real world is what gives her her strength to persevere in the harsh shoal plane as, as she can get her points with certain actions. These points will see... To certain special actions. These points will see use at vital times in Kwan's travel. That's a little weird as a sentence. Perhaps when she wishes to advert the inevitable transformation for absorbing too many souls. Perhaps when she simply can't afford to give in. Or even when she wants to release all the souls he has absorbed. So there's a spelling mistake because it's been she the whole light and now it's he has absorbed. Okay. So we have a close range attack. Give me just a sec. My daughter's here. What's up, baby girl? Hold on. She just needs some Lego help. Sorry, guys. Little Lego expertise help there needed. The, the aesthetics remind me a lot of Ceresa. If you guys saw uh, Ceresa, the um, you know the prequel to uh, Bayonetta, this actually really, really reminds me a lot of the aesthetics of that. I just want to see what happens here. So I'm, I, I'm not sure I get 1 million percent how this works, like, but we'll, we'll hopefully figure it out. We're, I want to get points because I want to sort of understand what's happening, but we'll, we'll figure, I'll figure it out as we go. So I don't know if it's one of those things where like the more we die, the stronger we get, but eventually you reach like a point where if you die again, you're really dead. So you have to like reset at that point is I'm, I, it, it feels like that's what they're trying to point to. A powerful fiend stands in Kuan's way. No mere cat can hope to defeat it. 
however, whether by fate or by sheer determination of will. Guan possesses the ability to absorb a portion of a fiend's power by evading its attacks. Repeat this process until Kuon has absorbed enough power, allowing her to unleash a devastating blow that even fiends cannot withstand. Okay, so we have to dodge till we get a superpower. Where's our gauge for the fatal stomp? Okay, I think it's the blue gauge. I think it's the little blue buttons. So it's like one of those things where you, if you dodge at the last second, you get, you get like, rewarded. Dang! I wanted to jump and you unleash my whatever thing. Okie doke. I guess we one hit killed him. Okay, we have like a double attack. Oh. Kuan, hear me out, Kuan. If a time ever comes where you find yourself lost and unable to make it back home, Dodon Pachi Dai Uju. I'm Stay not strong. actually aware. Of the, I'll check that out heart. after Big no Dogs. What, I promise I'll find you, even if I have to search far and wide. So please, don't forget me. <laughs> the storyline's like a little weird too, though. But so far, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I shouldn't be making heartfelt speeches to a cat. I don't know if there's a physical coming out in North America. I'll have to check, but I know there's one available for pre-order on PlayAsia. The game's coming out next month, by the way, guys. It's coming out on May 30th or 31st, somewhere around there. This is the boundary. Kuon's one and only means of returning to the real world. Okay. Four keystones are required in order to remove the first seal. Kuon's goal for now is to traverse the soul plane in search of them. This will be no simple task, however. The road ahead is much too perilous for a mere cat. Mad Rat Will dead. Columbia like I said, Mead reminds me a bit of Ceresa too, like the color choice. Is that it? Are you serious? Is this it? That's all we get as a demo? Oh no, okay. A game over will trigger your more than nine times, sending Queen back to the stage select area. Whole points can be used following game over to enter eternity mode until the stage is cleared. Markers at the end of each stage in chapter one can be used to reset your anima counter. chapter okay so like nova mode is like uh hardcore mode and uh, anima mode is like normal if you will uh we're gonna play on normal because i'm a little baby no <laughs> but seriously because uh well number one it's the demo so Let's, we're going to play on normal for the demo and then we'll see, like, uh, I'll see if the game looks like it's easy, P, like, because restarting all the chapters might feel like a little bit annoying at one point. The soul trail marks the beginning of a long journey for those who wish to return to the real world. For most, though, it is also the beginning of the end. 
Traverse the Soul Plane from here and locate the four keystones required to unlock the seal on the boundary. Tread carefully, however. Many have set out on the same quest only to meet their gruesome ends. Excellent judgment and absolute power are your only means of surviving this harrowing environment. So that is, it, it is that Do kind of thing where you have like nine time. lives to finish. However, the, the sort of like slight bonus thing is the more you get, the, the more you get closer to being totally dead, the more powerful you get. So losing a life to a fiend may be a humbling experience. It can also be to grow wiser as well. Open the menu with plus and access a soul to gain knowledge that felled you, allowing you to prepare new strategies and challenge them without fear. Yeah, so like they said, so some people can actually throw their lives away because you want to get more powerful. Yeah, me too. That would have been a really bad demo if, like, it ended right there. Because it, 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 like, totally just... Like, it's okay to just give you a taste. Obviously, a demo remains a demo. Okay. I didn't know that was a wall. I, I wanted to see if I could get those points by dashing through him. So that was just, like, a totally shit move there, guys. My bad. Let's see the upgrade th stuff. Sure. Oh, wait. Soul Beast a gem upgrade. We don't have any Soul Beast gems. Oh, wait, here. Oh, okay, we can go to the blue stuff. So the red takes red, the blue. So it's like three different upgrade paths, and they do different things. So like the red seems to be like more your basic cat abilities. The blue seem to be more like the attack abilities. And green, I don't know enough about the game yet to guess, but it's probably... Okay. Like I said, the one thing so far, however, that is maybe annoying me is I don't... I, I still really don't like that the dash is on the L button instead of the R but I still don't know what the special abilities will be looking like. God dang it. This one hit kill stuff is like... I hit the attack button, but okay. Either way, it's actually probably good because the we'll get to see what all are. Dang. Chihuahua while on the ground trying to destroy. Hold on. So we have this. <laughs> I'm like. So, but it's not giving us the same abilities as last time, eh? Okay, that's how we can get back up here. How do we get that? Because we can't jump this. 
Maybe we have to have other abilities. Wow. Again. Nice. We do have a double jump now. So now we can actually go back there and pick up the gem. That's a wall. Oh, we can't make it all the way back up. Okay, so we're we have to go down. Oh my god, man. The one thing is that the bat, the guy, the villain, like, I. The enemies mix in a little bit too much with the with the background. But basically, I'm going to have to uh, be very... Uh, I'm going to have to, like, pay more attention to what I'm doing, basically. I don't know. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? These enemies just, like, spew garbage out of you continuously. See, I'm not sure what this is doing. Like, it's giving us better abilities because we're doing this. Oh my god, I just wanted to get the freaking coins! Oh. The soul, or perhaps the sin, of the human has pushed Ku on to a new stage. This humanoid mode will grant additional power to the skills already obtained by Ku on. Though a great power it may be, it was obtained at a steep price. Okay, so she can auto no doubt make survival and far easier. That said, you should wish for it to remain despite the disadvantages. You can attempt to by continually pressing the cancel button before she absorbs a human soul. Accessful attempt will consume hope points but and allow generating a cat, but be aware that continued deaths will force to face an inevitable transformation. Okay, but why wouldn't we want to be like super powerful? Are we stuck here? This game is like a little weird, like I'm liking it, but it's a little weird and there's a lot of moving parts that are thrown at you all at once. Like what exactly am I supposed to do now? Because we saw that the path was there as like baby cat, but we can't get there. I guess I, I guess I have to jump back up here. Oh, there we 
we go. So like it's the the maps are like Metroidvania style on top. Oh my god, man. Well, we're gonna figure out what happens when we completely die, but no. Oh, so we're still not dead. Like, it's really weird because you have to go in really close for your attacks to work, but you can't touch anything. So it just, like, works out really weird as a combat style. I, I, I guess, I, ho I hope I'm going to get used to it, but it, it just doesn't seem to mesh up very well with, like, what it feels like it should be. Like, now I can't run through enemies anymore. My dash dashes me forward, but not through enemies. It's interesting, spicy gaming. It's just really hard to like figure out exactly a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's like, honestly, the game, like, why would I not want to get hit? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so, because you have to know what skills you have at the moment, actually. I'd have to go look in the menu. Maybe there is. But at the same time, uh, since the skills are changing so often, I I'm feeling that you're going to want to keep them there. <laughs> like, it's...
Let's go look at our upgrade menu because uh, seriously, I'm like, woo. Slightly increases attack range. Like I'm, f I'm wondering if it, the game is made in a way that you sort of like need some of the upgrades. Cause yeah, uh, attack range is awful. Like that is probably the biggest issue right now is like attack range. But at the same time, I'm super intrigued by this game. It's 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 like a really weird position. Like, where are we now? Are we going in circles? Yeah, we've been here. Okay, we haven't been here. But I'm actually not sure what exactly we're supposed we're looking for. I just fell right through the thing there because I I know I jumped far enough. I think we have to go back here and we have to keep going up. Actually, no, we, this is what, these were where there was like three gems and nothing else, wasn't it? Yeah, so no, this probably was just to get the gems. Not sure how I like the maze-like layout to the to the levels though with with this type of gameplay but we shall see let's see where we are now The level layouts are a little cryptical. Oh, this looks like a prog progress one. Well, th th there's hidden passages. It the it's basically the Soul Plains Great River extends all the way to this vast jungle. Do not be fooled, however. This is no mere jungle. Its trees are battered constantly by the stream. I wonder if this they is like um, a roguelite. As a result, like you have nine lives, roguelite, action platformer. Your only means of proceeding is going from tree to tree. The violent stream will only serve to hinder your progress. 
Will you find a way to struggle against the stream? Or will you search for another way entirely? Regardless, a solid plan of action is required. What's more, you can feel a presence ever so similar, yet ever so different to yourself. Expect a violent encounter should it stand in your way. Race through the violent stream before you. Seek out the keystone. Oh yeah, that's it. We're looking for the keystones. Oh my god, like this whole thing, I forgot that we're actually just looking for the keystones. Some of the collision detection seems a bit off from time to time. Okay, there's like a red gem this way. There. Dang. All nine of Kuan's lives have been lost. However, consuming half of your current points will allow you to temporarily switch to the difficulty, the difficulty to preventing any loss of progression and also granting Kuan infinite lives. Okay. Sure. Let's try it, because I just want to sort of figure everything out. We can't go this way because we're not the little cat. So I'm, what I'm thinking is that also the levels become more difficult because you're not the cat. So probably there's a lot of roads that we could go down if we were like the little kitty cat thing. by the way that fussiness of yours is gonna drive me to poverty hey DJ how you doing my man at the boss i guess so shark dude actually i like the design of this guy ah oh, man this bites haven't come across a single creature worth eating yet they all taste awful where's the fun <sighs> you ever had a taste of a human before that's what i call eating good like personally hey, though the gameplay is so much funner when you're like this like humanoid cat like warrior type thing 
that I'm like, I get what they're saying that why shouldn't, why wouldn't you just transform right away? I ate and I ate and I ate right until they came back to kill me. Man, that really ticks me off. I want another taste. <sighs> this new body's real convenient, you know? I can swim wherever I want with it. Sea, land, sky, like, anywhere! This is really, like, How we'll see, like but this, this is like a weird though. thing because, like, we don't know this dude, and this so is a pretty things. long dialogue I've for, like, pumping you up before a boss fight. We have infinite lives though, so we're just gonna get more powerful, right? They're nice. One's heart is brimming with hope. So this part we don't get voiceovers. <laughs> you can release all of the souls gained through Anima Revive and reset your death count to its original state. Uh, though all of your skills will be lost as a result, Kion will be able to regain her original feline nature. Are you selling it? Sure. So I'm, I'm like trying to figure out what the incentive is to stay a cat. Like, is it just a, is it just like a sort of thing where you can say you made it through the level as a cat? Because I sort of get it. You, I think you have to finish like a level or a chapter. Kuan has obtained her first keystone. Only three remain. Do we, do we get to do all three keystones? Like, do we get to do all four keystones in the demo? Maybe we do. Let's go look at our upgrades, because I think we got one of those major gems. But we don't have enough other points. Okay. So now I'm going to have to try to, like, play actually good. <laughs> and get some points accumulated here, because that's the point. problem is I'm using, like, a lot of them. So we can't actually upgrade. So I feel that's maybe one of the things that if you die too much... You're going to get penalized. So let's see if we can actually do stay a cat for a while. Now, last time I, you know, I sort of like didn't care too much. We're in the same place again. It's the same level. So I guess it's like a Metroidvania type aspect. Because we went there, we got a gem. And whatnot. So now we have to go like in a different direction. That's weird. 
I wonder if at one point there's like a place where you have to be a cat, maybe. Like if you don't if you don't stay a cat, you won't actually be able to make it to X to, you know XY boss or whatnot. I feel this is the same way we went last time, though. Oh, yeah, but I had to go turn around. That's the thing. Is I got down to the bottom and I couldn't go there because I wasn't a cat anymore. I wonder if I can zip through that. I cannot. There has to be a way around, though, as a cat. Oh, there was. It's there. Don't, 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 don't turn. So it's really like a stealth game when you're you're the cat. Oh, it was just here. No, I I, I pressed the the L button. How am I supposed to get out of that? Okay, well I have the Chihuahua thing. So I guess there was nowhere else to go there. Well, that sucks. Oh, this just brings us there. Yeah, there we go. This like this. And that brings us back here as well. So there's nowhere to go. Or do you guys think that the reason it brought us back to the same place is because um, where we, there was a tunnel that I missed? We have the mantis shrimp, but look. Oh, there. Maybe there's a tunnel here ish? No. Dang it. And I stopped getting hit. There's a paw here. Is that because I died there? That's why there's a paw there. It's like this is the same way we went. That That's what's annoying me though. It's like the same way we went last time. There's a tunnel. Can I? Why isn't it getting me in the tunnel? Yeah. Oh, come on! You know, you know what? That is a very good question, Growl. What is this game about? Not too sure. This cat wants to get back to the real world, but she's having issues.
There has to be a tunnel somewhere to go back up. Because, like, now we're down here and I'm stuck here again. And I really don't want to be. I, I want to go back up. There has to be a tunnel. Uh, or I don't need a tunnel, actually. Okay, so let's see. We went down there. We also went that away. Let's try to the left. I pressed L. I pressed L. I pressed L. No. Ah. Doing so terrible at this game, man. It's insane. It's like, it's annoying me. I actually can't dash at all in this version. The reason I could dash last time is because I had the special dash skill. But I actually can't dash at all this time. This land is filled with boulders that continue to fall from the sky. Many of these it, it's, seal it's, themselves in the boulders. I'm cracks, sure there's a really good earth. game somewhere in, in here. I'm just foot, not, for the moment, unlocking it. <laughs> What's more, you can feel a presence ever so similar, yet ever so different to yourself. Expect a violent encounter should it stand in your way. So basically, you have like a main hub world, and you're going to have like sub worlds. Most likely there's going to be four that you have to find like this. So now we're like at the second sub world. My god. Okay, I don't want the T-Rex thing. It was garbage last time. What I really want again is a dash. Like why why am I not accumulating any soil soul soul points anymore? You really aren't a fan of that collar, are you? I thought it was cute. Yes, that says it all. And these little cutscenes are like weird too. Oh come on, I didn't touch it. So I guess this is like pure, like just for ah, like no dash. This is awful. The game actually feels really bad without a dash. <laughs> like I, I feel like I can't get away from anything. Oh, I still have the long range attack. I I really need to basically use my abilities a lot better.
Oh, you see like there, what the heck am I supposed to do without a dash? Kill it. Man, how many shrimp shots does that thing take? Getting some more story. Whoa! Quit trying to slip away. Yeah, me too. Topaz hates it when you hold this her like that. Like you really have to support her body for her to be like even accept being held in your arms. There she goes. No problem, Corey. Have a great night, man. Like, how am I supposed to get through that? It, it, it. I'm still wondering why I'm not accumulating any points anymore. I thought when we kill people, that's what accumulates points, but maybe only as a cat. Take that. Like last time I just didn't use it because I was saving it for like a boss fight. But I should have been probably using it because... God, what, like, okay, like, Boss fight two, I guess. And who might Honestly, you, I, I am, I do agree with you, Bruce. Inti create gem generally never disappoints. This one though is a little hard for me to get a hold of. Like, it's good. I'm having fun, but I'm not having as much fun as like a gun volt or a. The one with the, the 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 time mechanic with the sword, uh, a title's not coming to me. Like, generally, a lot of your titles right away. Uh, eShop, uh, Bruce, it's available. You just go look at uh, Umber Claw, and you can uh, um, Umbra Claw, and you can download the demo for free. And I'm, I know I'm playing terrible tonight, guys. I'm like, <sighs> freaking terrible. Why are you staring at me like that? Like, it's really weird to have these super long dialogues for the boss fights. I, I, it's not a complaint. It's just like it. It doesn't.
The peacock gem like just like freaking destroyed him. Yeah, me too. I have all I have physical I have them all physically. I have each one of the gun vaults, including even Mighty Gunvolt uh Mighty Gunvolt Burst physically. I'm I'm like I wanna make sure I have all like the gun vaults physically. So that was it. That was the demo. I'm I'm sort of like I just wish I had got a better idea of the overall strategy in the game. But I feel like this one I have to play again eventually. I'm going to have to play again and really really focus on staying a cat for as long as I can. And I do feel like like I said, I do feel there's a super good game here because to begin with, the controls are super responsive. The base feels really good. It's just like the dynamics feel like it's hard to pinpoint what you should be doing and what you should be going for. And they throw a lot of information at you that I find is somewhat unclear. Like they're explaining the tactics, they're explaining the mechanics but in a sort of unclear way. But still, I love the graphics. I love the music. I love the concept of the cat, the nine lives and all that. I do I do find the, it, it's super interesting that the more you die, the more powerful you become. Like I do find that concept is a very, very interesting. But I do find the fact that the abilities come randomly to be very odd because like there since i had no dash as the as the um humanoid cat i felt that it was very very weird while the first time i was doing worse but the dash but it's because i wasn't using the dash ability properly like i was towards the end but i wasn't towards the beginning But at the same time, the dash changes. It, it's weird because when you're a cat, you can dash through the enemies. But even if you have the dash ability as the humanoid cat, you can't dash through things anymore. You can dash to things and away from things, but not through them. You can dash through attacks, but not through the enemies. I, I think they did... Uh, um, Grim Guardians too, right? Or Gal Guardians too. Inti creates that was a really, really good one that I, I that they did that I found didn't get enough like love was Gal Guardians. Yeah, Demon Gal Guardians Demon Purge. I really liked that one too. It was very, very, very good. And um, I'm I'm just pulling it up. Gal Guardians. Uh, I want to pull up the Inti Create games because. Um, they do a lot of really strong games. Well, Bloodstained, of course. A Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 1 and 2. Blaster Master 0. Amazing series. All Everything to do with the Gunvolt or Gunvolt Chronicles. Johan de Parthelion was actually a, a, a pretty solid Metroidvania. Lacked maybe a little bit of depth towards the end. Like, it, it felt a little bit too paint by the numbers, but it was still very good. I just want to see something. Uh, if we go publisher. I feel like... Didn't they do the other... Why is it not coming up? Didn't they do the other sword thing? The one with the time... Um, time manipulation. I have it physically somewhere. It's not coming to me. It's um, it's an action platformer, pretty difficult, but you you have time manipulation mechanics. And I was, I I was almost sure it's Indie Creates. 
Yeah, Curse of the Moon 1 and 2, amazing. Amazing. I have uh, I have the second one physically. I'm trying to get the first one, but I don't want to pay what it's going for. Like, it's just too much. Uh, what is the freaking game? What is the freaking game? Uh, Dragon Marked for Death was one of their other ones that was a little bit like, eh, eh, like it's maybe one of their only ones that was like, I wouldn't say a miss, but it it it, it didn't it didn't live up to what I was expecting. Like, why doesn't this even come out on Inti Creates? This is weird, uh, but. Give me a sec, guys. I'm really trying hard to remember the game I want to talk about. I was sure it was Inti Creates, but maybe it's someone else. It just fe it just feels like them. I'm, I'm like, by the way, guys, uh, I'm never going to find it physically like quick. Well, I, I'm trying, but like I'd have to be super lucky because I have now like over I have between 350 and 400 physical games. So like finding a physical game is not easy when I just want one game. And I have not organized them alphabetically yet. I should, but I haven't. I do have them all in, the, in an Excel sheet, so I know exactly what I have. But um, anyway, maybe it'll come back to me a little later. So I don't know, is anyone here for that was here last week that wanted to see a, a tour of where I was? Because I restarted an island in uh, Animal Crossing. Now, I'm just going to warn you guys, it's still very rough because I just hit 30 days today. So my Nook's Cranny is actually upgrading today <laughs> um, to the, you know, the big store version. Uh, but I want to know because I know last week a few people wanted an island tour. Uh, but I know it was like uh, it was Cat Mom and and um, and um, like, but I haven't seen you them yet in the chat. So I don't know if anyone here tonight is here tonight that wants to see an island tour of um, of it. It's just still very rough. I'm still in the early stages because I just paid off my house. Like the last the last um, renovation of my house this week. And now I'm finally putting money into like getting a lot of outside decorations so I can hit the five stars and I can start getting golden roses. <laughs> I have the black roses growing, but I haven't I haven't hit the gold ones yet. So does anyone want to see a Animal Crossing Island tour or should I save that for another night? Of course, we can look into on it often, but uh, I wanted to know if anyone was interested tonight. So let me know in the chat, or you can actually let me know. No, I'm not interested. If you just, if you're like, nah, don't want to hear about this, we can jump straight to something like maybe, like I said, I wanted to start a uh, Super Mario World uh, game. I know it's a retro game. I know it's an old game, and everyone's probably played it, but I haven't played it in like forever. And it actually will give me a good reason to use my um, Super Nintendo controller I got from the uh, Nintendo store. So actually, let's start with that. I'll start with uh, starting a Super Mario World game. I, I sort of feel like hitting that up. And um, if anyone wants to see the island tour, I'll do it after. Actually, hold on. I need to 
sync up the controller. I don't know why it's not synced. It should all, it should have already been synced. Oh my god. I forgot to update it. It's true. Hold on. While it's updating, we will I uh, will sync up my Super Nintendo controller. There we go. I haven't played with an actual Super Nintendo control in so long. Give me a sec, guys. Okay, back. We could have played the new games, but honestly, R Type. I'm not feeling like R Type. R Type's a super hard shoot 'em up. Hey DJ, I'm doing pretty good. You? Battletoads, Battle Maniacs would have been another one. Oh my God, part of me wants that, but it's another hard game tonight. And I don't know. I'm. I'm like. I'm. Oh no, this is the, hold on, I didn't go to the right one, I went to the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I get the home button on the Super Nintendo controller? I'm a little lost, haven't used it before. <laughs> like... Press and hold to rewind. Yeah, I got that. But there's no home button on... It must be uh, shortcutted to something, right? Does anyone know what it's shortcutted on? Hold on. We are going to do this instead. Whew. My bad, guys. I need to look through the manual. I haven't used it before, but there's no home button. I'm like, uh, it's going to take me like 10 minutes to figure out what the shortcut is. So F that. We want this one. We want the, not the special like remix version. We want the actual Super Mario. Uh, race data. We're going to race one because I... I did start a game a while ago, but I did like three worlds or I did. The, I think I did the first I, I finished the first castle. Oh, no problem, DJ. When you have time, man, don't don't feel about it. But um, no problem, my man. But, you know, and like I said, just the fact that you want to give me the game is 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 already amazing so no stress whatsoever <clears throat> oh my god man tonight is like not my night i think you guys can tell that i've had like a crazy week where i'm super tired Can't remember. No, we can't go in this one. How do we spin jump? There we go. What was spin jump? I did it, but I'm like, I, uh, I don't remember. I'm doing it, but I don't. Rem I'm, I'm muscle memorying it. Oh, that's it. It's down in a. Got it. It's chained. 
It's changed over time because now Mario has like the butt stomp. Stomp? Did he have the butt stomp in this one? I don't think so. Oh, missed it. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god, man. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna check it out what the shortcut is because it, it's guaranteed that there's a shortcut for the home button on this. They wouldn't put out a controller for the Switch, but it's probably some kind of two button combination or something. Hey, Frenchy Mom! I think you were the one that wanted to see my island tour last week. You're gonna get it! I didn't do it because I'm like, oh, the, I'm pretty sh I'm almost sure it's you that asked for it last week. And I'm like, she's not here tonight, so I'm like, we're gonna keep it for another night. As I said, just quick warning, it is not the best island ever because I started it 30 days ago. We're gonna finish at least like the first world, guys, and then probably take a tiny break, go do the island tour, and then come back. I know the life trick, but I messed up. I like eating the apples. I don't know why. I always did since I'm a kid. I lost Yoshi and I lost my freaking thing to this little piece of you know what I don't remember I think the other ones only have coins still. Come here. Terrible. Bull. I, d I think I didn't even get to five Yoshi coins. What the heck? Forgot where the last one was. <laughs> Man, this game is so freaking awesome. Like, no matter how many times you play it, it, it just never gets old.
Is this the one where we can eat them and get the wings? I don't I don't remember. No, it isn't. Isn't there one where we can eat them and then get if we we can absorb them and get the wings? I have my headphones on. Kisa? Je sais pas. Yeah? I'm streaming. They can hear you. <laughs> Sorry, my wife said someone screamed. I didn't hear anyone scream, but okie doke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one earphone ear off. And just listen in case she needs help. <laughs> I didn't hear a scream, but okay. You know what? I will believe her till proven wrong. You didn't scream, Martin? Good. I didn't scream either. She's like, did you scream? I'm like, no. No, 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 no. That is what I wanted to do. By the way, I know this is not the most efficient and the way you're, well, not supposed to. Doesn't matter. I like eating the cactuses. Always missing one god dang Yoshi coin. I don't know if I can keep the uh, flower for the uh, for the boss. We're gonna try because it makes it stupid easy. But if not, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way and kick him into the lava. to that. It's all good. I wanted the flower. It's my backup flower. My backup backup flower. Yeah. Why can't I? Why am I not hitting him with the flower? Okay, come on, come on, come on. 
there. We have to do it the old-fashioned way, because I suck. And World 1 is down. So, let's go do our island tour. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, I do want to play through this game on stream. Like, I want to play through the whole thing. And... I'm not saying we're going to do every, every level, but, like, I want to do the majority of them. I don't want to use, like, the ultra shortcuts. So, number one is down. This game is so freaking good, man. Like, it's... It, when I'm thinking about the best Mario of all time, it is... Like, this game is definitely in contention. Okie doke. Island tour time. And grab other controller. And honestly, I think tonight, guys, we're going to call it after the island tour. I know this was like a short stream. It's sort of a weird stream. It's like a Saturday night stream and play the demo and stuff, but... You know what? I, I definitely wanted to see all of you tonight. And like I said, it's one of those weeks where it was this or like, like I said, like Kong Island, like Skull Island. I, that That's the other one I was thinking of maybe playing, by the way, for tonight. The demo was weird, Frenchy Mom. It's the game looks like it has a ton of potential, but the actual mechanics in the game are really hard to nail down. That's what I that's that's my perspective on the game so far. I love the concept though that like you're playing as a cat, um, but it's really weird. Like it, the more you die, the more powerful you become, but eventually you run out of lives. But there's a version of the game where you just can have infinite lives, which I, I imagine some people are gonna be like, well, you're not supposed to play like that, but oh my god. Now I don't know what the home button is. What is the gauze darn hold on? Home button on Super Nintendo controller. I, I checked it last time. Uh R and Z R. R and ZR is not working. Why is it not working? Because Animal Crossing is one of those games that doesn't let you connect a controller, a second controller. So now I'm like sort of effed. Hey, 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 no, 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 Holy crap, give me a second, guys, because I'm, like, pressing buttons I should not be pressing. Give me a sec. Ugh, we're gonna have to do this. I'm going to figure out the Super Nintendo controller after. Like, it's weird, man. Tonight, like, nothing's working like it's supposed to. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Fixed up. Whew. Yeah, the, and honestly, I'm, like, not playing my best tonight. Like, I don't know. It's, I think... I know it's weird because, like, there's been less videos than usual, but I haven't played as much Switch as I have in the last two weeks in quite a while. I've been playing, like, hours every day. And that I think that's why I didn't know what to play tonight. Because I finished most of the latest games that, that I got that I really wanted to finish. I didn't have time to finish normally. But for once, I'm, like, done all my recent games. There's a ton of my backlog, but I didn't want to play like a game that came out like two years ago. Unless it was something really that we never talked about on the channel. 
Now, like I said, do not expect much from the island tour uh, because, like I said, restarted the island 30 days ago. Nook's Cranny is being upgraded today. Um, so we actually don't have access to Nook's Cranny today. But and I, I just paid off my house like the last upgrade this week. So I've been in like I've been I was saving all my cash for paying the upgrades like consecutively. Um, so I haven't been investing as much in like um, decorations. Yay, tomorrow I get my next cry. That's why actually I didn't play today because like I can't sell any more of my stuff. I can't do anything today. Like, well, I can't do anything. No, actually we're going to go uh, we're going to go buy a new person on the uh, on Harv's Island. Actually, I almost forgot that. I have to go to Harv's Island because you can buy one new person per day and I have enough. Okay. So this is my house, okay? My house on the inside is totally garbage, total garbage. Because like I said, all my money's been going into upgrading the house and I've been basically throwing furniture that I know I wanna set up in my house in there, but like nothing's really where it should be, okay? So till I have like everything that I want, I'm not gonna really set it up in any special way. I know that this is gonna be my kitchen right here on the right i have all my kitchen stuff this is probably the most setup room in all my rooms so kitchen here but um i know i want an island in the middle i just can't build it yet because i have the i have like the recipe for this the kitchen net but i don't have the ironwood dresser and the cutting board and I've been really slacking on getting the DIYs. So I have to try to like visit people's islands that are giving away DIYs or I really have to visit my islanders. That's probably the one thing I don't do is I don't visit my islanders. So I don't see when they're working on DIYs to get them. Uh, but, you know, other than that, I, I would say I unlock cooking. I've got like, you know, like I'm, I'm starting to get there. In, in the um, where I'm, I'm really planning. However, I do have most of my island planned out in what I want in each section, but uh, I don't have like, but I'm missing stuff to set it all up. Uh, sleeping room quarters are going to be upstairs, uh, up here. Okay, so like I'm going to go with a Japanese theme since my house is like Japanese themed on the outside. Um, well, Japanese mixed with Chinese, but you got Asian theme. Uh, bathroom is going to be here on the left. All I have is a toilet. That's all I have. Just And it's only set up there just so I can dump, like, if I have, like, you know, power-ups that I want to dump, I can sort of dump them. So, but it will be my bathroom. Um, my game room is upstairs, and I have some Mario stuff set up, but not exactly where I want it okay so this will be my game room once I have everything set up and then downstairs is gonna be my gym I'm gonna set up my gym in the basement I have like a I have a speed bag and and a gym floor I think is the only things I have oh and a sink so my my that's how my house is going to be set up. And the, the entry room is going to be like a living, living room, cozy room with a T, like whatnot. I don't think I'm going to put a TV and stuff because I'm going to put that all in my playroom upstairs. But yeah, that's my house. Um, so I, I pretty much set up all the villagers already with like fencing and basic setup to their homes. So Nook's Cranny is right here in the center normally. This is actually a seasonal clock. I'm just mi missing one season. So basically, these are all the bushes that you can have. So whoever visits my island can know what season I'm on right away. But I follow the real seasons. I don't time travel, by the way, which is why I'm saying I'm only worked 30 days and I did zero time traveling. So all this was done like normal upgrade speed. Um, 
but it's it's a seasonal clock so when you get in you can see what season the island's on by what bushes are are blooming you understand so now we know i'm, I'm in spring because the azaleas are, are blooming here uh i'm only missing the one set that goes here at the top um so yeah it's like a seasonal clock uh, then I've got like a couple of villager houses here. Uh, pretty much the, all the houses you'll see are set up almost the same where they have one tree. They have like a patio. Uh, uh, this is going to be like a, a little patio set or I'm going to try to put it like individually different for each villager. They have some flowers and they generally have a few vegetables set up. Um, where they're set up exactly is going to change a bit, but I have... So most villagers, like I said, set up like that. Um, two more villager houses here. So I, I have the packs all done and, and that stuff. Like I, I did that as soon as I got the, the app. Um, two more houses here. If we go up uh, here, we have another one. And I tried to put different fencing on each and, and give it like a sort of tiny little theme like um this is going to be like more you know um what you may call it um exotic because i put like the the straw fence i have my museum set up I've, I've been doing decently catching all the fish the bugs and stuff um yes i'm doing the hhp i have some but i think i have like 10 done 10 hhps done um i have to, i've i know i got the first reward for doing like 10. this is my little uh sort of uh hybrid hybriding section okay so now i'm working on black on roses i want to get my blue roses once i have my blue roses i'm going to work on the other ones but i'm starting with the hardest one because if you've played animal crossing you know the roses getting a blue rose is like the hardest one because you need to do like four generations of like hybriding to get the right to get a blue rose so once i have my blue roses we um we good this is my tiny section topaz has been a pain in the butt man she is such a pain in the butt tonight give me a second she's throwing away she's throwing away the replacement nubs to the controller i reviewed uh, yesterday Thanks. Oh my god, cat, I will I will love you. <laughs> um This is Mario uh, this is uh, Mario Mario Islands. <laughs> a a rare game that has never showed up ever anywhere else. Now it's I it's it's I'm just dressed as Mario on um in Animal Crossing. Honestly, it's because I I don't know why the game's been giving me only dresses. Like, I can show you my wardrobe. Every bit of clothing, I have no pants. Like, I have one pair of sweatpants that the game gave me. Other than that, all it gave me was dresses. You know, each their own, but whatever. Oh, let's grab the DIY. Let's see what it is. It's a recipe for tomato juice. I really like Godzilla Kong, uh, Godzilla X Kong. N like, it's not an award-winning movie, and the humans are totally useless, and the storyline is sort of, like, very, very basic. But I freaking loved it, man. It was fun from A to Z. And I went to, um, like, where you have, like, the three screens all around the front that, the like that really immerses you in it so there's like three screens it's two going to the side and the movie like sort of extends to the sides it was tons of fun um you know if i had one gripe um it's called something different here in canada but it's it's the same concept of screen x um it's the same concept as screen x i can look what it's called here but it's just called something different uh, but it's the same concept I, I honestly had a ton of fun. If you like kaiju movies that don't mess around too much with a huge story and that just get into it, man, there were action scenes all throughout the movie. If I had one gripe, one gripe with the movie, it was actually the fact that 
all the secondary Godzilla fights ended in the exact same way. Like they were they were good, but I was a little disappointed that basically they both of the like don't worry, it doesn't ruin anything like story-wise, but it's basically like Godzilla uses his his like radioactive breath what he's losing and he wins and you're like okie doke uh, and i know it makes sense because like the 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 the, the um his uh, his radioactive breath is sort of like always his finishing move but um it's just that the fights play out in almost the exact same fashion uh and that's maybe the only thing that disappointed me about the movie however like that's only for the secondary godzilla fights Exactly. It's like, um, and, and me and my brother, we said the, you know, I, I like, I'm very analytical of the fight stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, I was having fun, but it was just like predictable how the fights were going to end. Uh, but only for the secondary Godzilla fights, because all the other fights were pretty well choreographed and they like, they felt all different to one another and whatnot. Uh, just just that one was a little bit like okay and oh and there's one like there i'm not gonna don't worry no spoilers once again but there is one guy there is one kong fight that you don't actually see how kong kills the opponent and i was just disappointed because i felt like it was a waste like you you see the start of the fight something happens like i'm doing this no spoilers okay Something happens, it cuts away from Kong, and then Kong just shows up, like, and you know he's won. Like, you clearly know he's won the fight, but they cut out, like, the best part of it. I was like, are you, are you freaking kidding me? You, you stole the best part of the Kong fight. What the heck? <laughs> like, and... I was really waiting for Kong to kill someone with his axe, and I feel like that was the one where it happened, but it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, my fault, I was late, no problem to Gade. Um, okay, getting back to the island tour. Sorry, guys, we're getting back to it. So, yeah, the, the final battle, yes. Not, final battle was definitely not disappointing. There was, that, there was also those bro moments between Kong and Godzilla, which were awesome. And there was like, there's a really... Like, even though it's like a huge kaiju battle, there's like this really funny part I find where, like, I, I, I can't go into it because it's going to spoil stuff. But, like, we I broke out laughing one time during one of the kaiju fights. Um, for Matthew, without spoilers, the one in Egypt, like, how the fight starts because you, you saw the movie, like... You know what I'm talking about? Like I broke out laughing when 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 like when the Egypt fight starts. I was like, "Oh my god, that, that, that's freaking awesome!" Um, but yeah, okay. So um, this is probably the one villager's house where like I didn't have I set him up here. I didn't want to move the house, but I couldn't do the same setup with a tree and everything. So I just made it different where I'm like, OK, this guy really likes the ocean. So he's left himself like a rear door and I'm going to put the lighthouse here like probably everyone does. But I am going to do that. And thank you so much for the donation to Gate, by the way. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. And you didn't have to donate because you were late, by the way, my friend. But it is super, super appreciated. Um, lastly, here we have like, this is once again, maybe a little different setup. I put these two houses like they were like best pals. And they've invested in like a more high grade fencing. So, you know, and they have their like little pond here that they're like, they're like, this is ours. If you want to come in fish here, you gotta you gotta pay us. And um, here's my little uh, robot uh, cephalobot. I freaking love him. When I met him, I was like, yay. Uh, we're gonna do this actually from the other section because like um, I want to basically show the setup. So probably the biggest thing I have is a farming uh, ground setup, and. I'm probably going to add stuff to it as I can find like thematic stuff to fit with it. But towards the top here, maybe showing my island would be the best. Whoops. No, that's not what I want to do. 
as you can see, like the island is set up. If you oh, my face is over it. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, if you look at, you see, like the main part of the island is really where Nook's cranny is, but the second biggest like island on my island is all a farm it's supposed to be a huge farming ground that's how i was making all my money without necessarily having to visit anyone the only time i was really visiting for money was to sell my turnips if like i would check if someone online would have like really high turnip prices and sell it there but the idea is like you come over here and this villager is like the farmer okay now the house is empty but i'm gonna i'm gonna decorate it farm style like i want to get a tractor and stuff and then basically you have the orchard here. So one row of each one of the different fruits that we can have. Okay. And um, set up all neatly in rows with um, fencing. And then we get to the farming, farming section. So produce. So I have a five by five square of most of the produce. I'm saying most because... I didn't set up a five by five square. Like I have three colors of 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 uh, pumpkins, orange, green, and white. I have some yellows, but they're I don't have them set up here as as a farming ground thing. They're next to someone's house because I was running out of space, and I was like, meh. Do I really want to make them four by fours and try to get that to all fit in? And then I was like, nah, f that. I'm good with the five by fives and whatever then this is like the secret like picnic spot i'm gonna try to find something to spice it up a bit but this is like secret date night picnic spot uh hidden at the corner of the orchard behind the orchard i have a sell basically the farmer you can come here to the farmer's market and pick up any one of the fruits and vegetables he sells some are empty because i just haven't filled them up yet because um i've been selling everything to make my money uh so i put one of the fruits here i put a tomato but i'm gonna put all the others so you have like your tiny farmer's market um honestly you what you do in animal crossing you you live the only point of it, it, it it's sort of like stardew valley-ish where the only point of the game is to build your island and have fun designing your island that is the main point exactly and here so while you're farming while you're shopping at your farmer's market i set up a playground for the kitties so the kitties can come play in the playground while the parents are shopping blah 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 um and yeah so that is my farm ground uh, then basically if we come over here and we go down, I'm going to have a fake mart set up. This is going to be like a mart where they sell <laughs> my daughter's down again tonight. Like everyone's interrupting, uh, bientôt mon bébé. No, he cannot jump. Uh, the, the demo was decent forced. Um, You'll see my comments the whole time. It's just that the setup of the game is so out there and weird that I, I still haven't gotten to a grip on the loop in the game. Like, what are you supposed to be aiming for? Yes, people can come and visit your island. So other people that have animal crossings can come over and visit your island. So this is going to be a fake mart. I, I'm missing cash registers, by the way. Like, I want to set up a cash register up here in the corner. And I'm going to put, like, weird items here that I don't necessarily need, but that I like, like a fake mart. Uh, and you can buy plants. And I'm going to have a smoothie bar at the back here. So the reason there's, like, a mixer and two tables is I'm going to I'm going to make different smoothies. And I'm going to put them on the table and it's like I'm selling smoothies. Um, then if we go up to the top here, we got the campground that you can come and have a barbecue to and sit with a friend. Um, last villager house is here. He has he, he like has access to the pond, but he's not like the other dudes trying to keep it from him. Where's everyone at? Isn't this spawn wave? No, this this isn't spawn wave. But if you thought it was spawn wave, I am uh, very um, how can I say? Uh, 
Spawn Wave, I, I love the guy. I watch all his content. I, I don't know him, but I love the guy. So I am uh, honored that you thought this was Spawn Wave. You only see RGT. <laughs> Even RGT I love too. So it, it, either one, it ain't, ain't, ain't insulting me here. It's Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, one's kilos. And lastly, we have my fairgrounds. Well, not lastly, because I have a hidden hidden section of the game. Uh, we have the fairgrounds. So I have like a we're open sign with all the major rides here for the moment. The ones we can get at this moment. Teacup ride. You have free, um, free balloons, free, uh, what do you call it? Cotton candy. This is going to be a little section selling teddy bears. At the entrance, I didn't say, but this is like I'm missing the cash register once again. That's going to go up here, but they're selling like the Mario power up. So you can buy yourself a Mario power up if you want. Uh, the, they're going to be selling te teddy bears up here. Then if you go on, you keep on. This is like the hidden spot where the guy comes to sell the art, whatever the fox's name is. Uh, then I have the duck shoot game here. I think there's like one or two ride things um, that I'm missing. But now we're going to go look at the secret section that you can only get to if you have a ladder or if you know where my secret Mario pipe is hidden. So basically, um, well, actually, right now I have two ladder kits set up just because for practicality purposes while I'm because I'm not at, you know, like I'm not finished building the island, but I'm going to remove the ladder kits when it's done. And the only way that to get there is going to be to have your own ladder. The fishing guy is here again. He was here yesterday. Okay. Um, so if you go behind my museum, I have a hidden Mario pipe that you can not see unless you go behind the museum. And if you jump in the Mario pipe, it's going to teleport you to the only place that I have a mountain on the island, which is up here. Now, once again, I'm not done designing it, okay? But, um, like, there's going to be, like, a bamboo forest here, so I'm still missing some bamboos. I have a few, but not enough. And there's, like, a secret grotto at the top where I have a fishing spot for like level three fish because there's some fish that you can only fish from the level three spot. Uh, and then I have like the glowing moss here. So when you run through it, you get the lights with some hidden bats and a cave. It's going to be like a hidden section of the island. You know what I mean? So basically that is the way I'm setting up my island for the moment. Like I said, it's very basic. It's very empty still because I'm missing furniture and stuff, but uh, I'll be working on it slowly as we go through. But I'm going to I'm going to be putting less time into it now that I have the upgraded Nook's Cranny and all that. Like I'm going to be checking it like, because right now, before I had to check in every day, I had to sell my stuff, get my money, get my stuff going. Uh, but um, now I'm going to check it. I'm going to still check in every day, but I'm just. You know, I'm, I don't have to make as much money because I have all the big stuff paid off. And, um, yeah. Happy Home. I've, I've been having fun with it, but I've been having less fun than I thought I'd have. Let's go Let's go to Harv's Island. I'm going to go unlock someone and then uh, we will get out of Animal Crossing. Oh, I want to fly. I really like the new Harv's Island upgrade. I, I hadn't even played when they did the Harv's Island upgrade. I don't know when it came. I think it came up with uh, with 2.0. But now you can get all the special vendors like permanently set up on your island. That is actually pretty sweet. I, I didn't actually know they did that in 2.0. So you can get Leaf and all those guys permanently set up where you can visit them at any time. So you don't have to wait anymore until they show up. Once you have it unlocked and once you pay 100,000 uh, bells for each one of them. Now, I think I only have three set up right now. Do I have enough money? Yeah, I have more than 100,000 in my pockets. So I have the fortune teller unlocked. The dude that sells rugs that I don't remember... 
anymore and then leaf and now nah, i'm just gonna unlock anyone i don't really care no this guy is last though having access to my home storage here is like zero my zero what i i'm gonna do everyone to him yeah here And there we go. So, basically, that's what I have done so far. Uh, we're not going to go to Happy Homes because, honestly, some of them I set up shittily. Like, I, some I put really a lot of time into and some I really set up, like, super shittily. <laughs> just because I was like, I just need the money to get the... Actually, let's just go see what furniture is on sale there. Can we go directly there? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we can go directly there. We're gonna. Go, I'm just gonna go look if there's any good furniture that I want at the uh, Happy Home, uh, Happy Home uh, Thingamajig. So by the way, if you haven't played, if you haven't played like the Happy Home, it's that basically now you can set up like infinite little homes with all the furniture for free now you don't have access to all the furniture for all the houses but you you'll have all the f access to all the furniture that are similar to the theme you're working on and each person you set up a home for you has a different theme um and the reward for you is that they give you like special money that you can spend here that uh, will give you like furniture that's harder to find on your regular island. You can still get all the furniture you have here on your regular island. It's just harder to find. Oh, another teddy bear for my teddy bear sale. Nice. Have that. This is a wood chipper. I guess that's another word for wood chipper. Old time radio and a mop and bucket. This is crap furniture. Other than a bear, whatever. Whatever. I haven't not watched Fallout yet, but I definitely do want to check it out. I haven't had a chance yet, though. So we're going to wrap things up here. This is where I'm at. And we'll come back to it. I'll, 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 I'll do other island tours in the future. Like, not every stream because it's not going to change enough in a week. But like maybe like every month one, during one of the streams, I'll do an island tour. If anyone that, that likes Animal Crossing is here and we can see how things are evolving on in my on my Animal Crossing islands. So, guys, this is where we're going to end it here for tonight. Um, it was honestly, I think I want to do these chill type streams a little more often where we play like random stuff. We try demos and whatnot. Um it, I, I find it really fun because um, I'm going to try to do it more often. And like I said, once my renovation of the studio is done, the schedule is going to be a lot better. Because like I said, I gave up two nights of creating videos to get my studio cleanup really going. Now I'm not going to do that anymore. Like I'm going to do it little tidbits because I did all the big stuff that I really needed to do in one shot. Because basically there were stuff like when I, I couldn't leave it like scattered around so i had to really like take everything apart box up what i needed to kept keep what i needed here and get things going so i will be working on an eShop deals video tonight and tomorrow so there will be a new one coming out and hopefully after this week we'll be getting back to two steady videos a week on the eShop deals plus one to two extra videos on side content so maybe a review maybe sometimes a game feature um or like controllers hardware i hope you guys like the two hardwares i i i really pushed hard to get those two out this week even though like i was a little hello i was a little behind uh on stuff and i know i know some of you were maybe expecting the deals and i'm so sorry that i like totally missed one week of deals but like i said we're gonna get back to it at the same time you know deals right now 
there, there's some really good ones, but there's also a lot of repetitiveness, repetitiveness right now on the deal. So it's a lot of the same games coming back, but a few dollars cheaper than they were last time and whatnot. So, you know, I thought it was a really good time to do it because we're about to get into the heavy season of some really decent games coming out. So I thought this was the last chance I would have to do this before it would really hurt the channel if I don't start playing like Luigi's Mansion and and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So thank you all for showing up tonight. Check out the uh, ch check out Umbra Claude the demo. Okay. And I will be replaying it again because I I something tells me there's an amazing game hidden in there. I just couldn't get the loop, the, the cycle down, what the game is going for. You know what I mean? And I think that's a me thing for tonight. And if any of you play the demo, next stream, come back, tell me what I was missing. Because I still love the game. I love the art style, the music, the controls were re super responsive. The gameplay itself was fun, but I couldn't quite lock down like what strategy am I supposed to be going for here to play through the game you know what I mean but yeah so have a great night guys thanks you for showing up and as usual I hope I'll see all of you in my next video have a great weekend guys exactly to gay the deal video that you're announced as the winner check that out when i'm gonna roll now it's gonna be you and people are gonna be like oh that's because he, he said it in the stream <laughs> but that no I, I i'll roll it but if if luck hits you it'll just be a huge coincidence have a great night guys